and welcome back to another episode of Non Sky Block 2. So, I paused the game after the last episode, which was about half an hour ago, and realized my hard drive only had 2 gig of space left. So I went, oh crap. That was that so that was just lucky in the recording. So I've transferred off everything that I have sent to YouTube. Now I have 91 gig free. So I've made a massive amount of videos. So 91 gig is probably not anything special to some other people, but to me 91 gig is actually quite huge because I have a crappy internet connection that will never upload 91 gig within a couple of hours like I do with my mums. So yeah, so between episodes, as you know, I did I did a few things, right, while I was waiting for stuff. Nothing too important. I expanded this out. I started converting everything around. And then it hit me as I went to go convert stuff. And I'm missing things. I'm, I, it's like, God damn it. I'm missing things. I knew this would happen. I would get to a point where I needed some stuff and I would go there and they'll be gone. So I have been waiting and watching and looking at all this. So we now have 43 in here and more are being made. Why it's taking so long is because I don't have quick, um, really quick item ducks. They're the slow ones still from the start because it's just terrible. I, I, I probably could spend, um, you know, two or three episodes just doing glowstone item ducks, replacing it, uh, like, and, and just making a heap of item ducks, because it will take me a while to actually get all that. And then I went, stuff it. I'm not going to do that. I am actually going to get my Starlight Infuser up. I can't remember if I actually can showed you I put it on the on the stage. I, uh, yeah. But I have got this Starlight Infuser. All right. There's, see, there's no cheats here. It's all from the last round. As I said, it's just been recorded. So I have been waiting for this to catch up so I can actually start this because this still is kicking on and off, on and off. It's slow, but it's only doing tiny amounts because of that. And all because it's not actually moving through here. So now we have actually 44 of them in here. I can actually start moving this because this will keep 20 in there. This will keep eight in there and then this will keep two buckets in there. So this will actually cook up. So I'm hoping this will cook up and it will produce, once this is all full, this should keep up with this. If it doesn't, I need to redo the ducks. That's about it. Even the power ones underneath, which is gonna suck, but it has to be done because it's just, yeah. So these will keep ticking away and yeah, so this will this will start really tearing through this, but there's backup. But I was watching this, and this is actually going down. It was 300 and something, now it's 285. So this can actually just be turned every now and then into this, which I can manually do until everything's backed up. So as this is, as you can see, this is already backed up at 20. This is at two, and this is well this will get filled that will get filled so there'll be quite a bit so if we can look we're down to eight already so yeah that the whole system needs to be upgraded with speed from the ducks so yeah anyway um, I need to make more or new empowers and yes that's going to kill me it is going to eat a lot of my whatever's left over in gold or whatever's left over in whatnot, but it has to be done. Unfortunately, it needs to get done. Um, I have turned this off. I'm starting to do netherrack now because I need quartz. I have to make quartz. So, yes, so this will be, f yeah, I. I yeah, so I forgot about it and it needed to be done. I already used the last of it doing this stuff, so I need to make more. It's literally it. Um, this is producing, so 
I'll probably fill this up a little bit more but I need to make myself some new empowerers so yeah that's what I need to do so let's grab a couple of them and refill this up and then let it go because this this automation is just really good all it needs is me is to come over and just refill some stuff um, the 10 stone was actually for the Inori crystals to make into rock crystals because I need lots of actual buckets for iron uh, for up here to get the starlight stuff happening so that's what I will be doing but I need to make this and I need to make a few more buckets because it needs I think oh actually I wouldn't need more buckets I think I just have to ship them out so yeah but I'm my plan is to make this so this will go into the floor so it'll be the just basics and then I will build up how it is then I will be on that will be it for um, astral sorcery I haven't seen anything else up to it just that so I will push forward for that a little bit more um, get this up and running and I will be good then um, I do have a heap of more stone in here which I've been working on slowly as you can see it's still being processed I think I added that in break as well because to change the rest of this around then I'll actually change this to something better and I'll slowly move and upgrade the layers um, this will be this one and then I'll probably choose a different one for underneath more bricky or basement one looking but yes we will be changing a lot of it around and once we get the glowstone I will be producing a lot of uh, glowstone that way once I get the star starlight infuser up so basically that's what will be happening now so ah oh yeah but I need to make it uh, the empowerer set up again and I'm thirsty so yeah so currently everything else is working quite nicely um, I really should make some boots so I can just jump down there this is what is holding it up because it is slow in transferring I was thinking of moving the things closer a little uh, a, a stack one but then I thought it would um, be the, pretty much the same it will just be a little bit closer and you still be sending a stack at a time it probably would work in the long run but if I just upgrade to the better model uh, of the ducks it will just work out uh, equal but other than that it's what will of what I'll do so yeah see he's he got stuck on doing that but he has quite a few bit he has one in the tank so I will just throw one out I know it's not worth it but once that gets full we won't have to worry about it so that will continue on this will continue on making but this is a slow part transferring it because it has to transfer it all the way down here all the way across and the duck is actually really slow as you can see it will get one here and then it will go one there one there and one there all at the same time and see how slow it is see this is the first one that gets here so you'll see this one go bonk on and then you will, that one will go on and then it will go bonk bonk and bonk which will take its time so yeah we need to get the impulse ducks up and running because uh, they are the these ones here which are actually faster so items travel more rapidly um, I think these are just the yeah the higher ones so this is your first one this is your opaque second set third set and then fourth set so but what Oh no, sorry. That's your first set. That's your second set. And then your last set. Uh, items travel more rapidly. Items travel, see, that one doesn't, that one doesn't. So, yeah, so it's these last two that we want. And I want to go with this one. So, I want to actually be able to see my all the items that go through. 
Um, so we'll need to get a thermal, um, a few of them running. So I might as well make the um, casings and make a heap of them because if you look, I have 47 diamonds. So what? So if I make, uh, I need a what is that? A fluid transposer, a. Um, I'm just trying to remember the ones off the top of my head. Not for this, but I got the magma. This is the fluid transposer. Um, I need an induction smelter. Um, I need a redstone furnace. Pulverizer. So let me just take like 32 of them, and then that's how many casings I will do. Um, and that means I need a lot of water. Um, I probably could actually move this down. I don't know how much water this actually is or left over, but I could break it off, you know, here and then do a quick line and then just the carpentry just sit there. It'd be a lot easier. Um, so yeah, we'll do that for that. Um, I made, oh, by the way, I made more rice soup. So I ran out and yeah, so I made more. And the other thing, so that's what we'll do is we'll make, um, what is it? That's four divided by 32, uh, oh, uh, no, 32 divided by four, which is eight casings which will be made. So we have no casings in here and I need to do, uh, yes, uh, ooh, we need to do like another stack of refills, uh, the iron thing, uh, refined iron, so let's just break that and swap that, so this will be like that, and we need another one, so now let's make the casings because this is what we're after. I know we should be doing all these other goddamn things, but unfortunately, this is what I need to do at the moment. So, because I should be doing applied um, energetics, but I still need more power to test it out. So, we'll just continue on how we're going, and then we'll get into applied energetics, because, or well, alarm logistics, because really, we're just doing quality life upgrades more than anything. So, we will just do this. This will give us four casings. So if I do uh, 24, two more of them. There we go. Uh, oh, that gave us eight casings. Uh, eight casings. Okay, that's done. Uh, now we use the casing and yeah, here, so it's all the refined iron that we need. Um, how much wood do we have in here? We don't actually have much wood anymore. Okay, so we need all the refined iron. I don't know how much we needed, so I'll just make some and hopefully have some left over from other things. What are we on? Six and seven, so a little bit more. And two more, and then we'll have what we need. Now we have what we need. We have eight casings. Okay, so we burnt through that iron like there was nothing. That's pretty much how it is at the moment, because I'm trying to make heaps instead of little lots. So we need to make actually more iron. Um, so let's whack that in and we will do this way with iron because this actually makes more because I can double it and crush it. So we'll do that. Okay, so now we need uh, the wrong casings. Uh, let's have a look at thermal, uh, what's it called? Okay, so I think this is where it splits off. I don't know if they all receive this because there's a device frame here. So let's look at this one. Uh, so pretty much anything that's blue by the look of it. Yeah, anything that's blue. So the only thing that's in blue that we want is the aqueous accumulator. 
but I can live without that for a while. So, and that's made from platinum. So, yeah. Uh, but it's still made from the same hardened casing. So, yeah. All good. Um, and the other hardened casing is iron plate and steel. So let's see how much steel we got left over. 21, and we've got 7 plates. So once again, we are stuck. Because we need iron. Damn iron. But that's fine. Because we can just, you know, work out how we're going. So we need all them... No, because we need to use this to get into the casings. Uh, yep, sturdy casing. And just to confirm, it's the sturdy casing, which it is. So we need bronze, lots of bronze. And we are stuck on like 10, no, 6 bronze. Wow. And that's copper and tin. So if we run over here, we I know we got a heap of copper, but tin. Uh, actually, we have quite a bit of tin, and we can go 64 of them and them, and that will make all we want. Uh, these have slowed down, and there's no iron in here anymore. So, oh well. Oops. Oh, there's some there. But we will do a massive stack now, because we need a heap of everything. So, as I said, we are running out of all the good stuff. So, and what I'll do is I will put all this away in here. Now how much tertiaries do we have? Because I can make a heap more of it now. So remove that, put this in. So how much do I have in here? 49. Got 12. So if I do a nice big stack we I'll come back and that should be a stack. So and then that's all done. So it's making a heap of stone for me. I re told it to do that. Um, that actually should have gone up as well because that is part of the building. And the problem is, is I need quartz and lots of it. That's why I am making a heap of quartz. And the Nori crystals and that are actually required. Let's see what I'm sitting at for netherrack over here. Only 64. I need more, seriously. I know I can make it, but I don't really want to. This is why I'm doing it this way, to make more without me having to worry about it. See I only got 38 so it kind of sucks. I have some Draconic. All these gems are here will end up going over here but I think I'm not going to even bother because that is a lot of gems. I mean that's another like 12 there and and yeah and they're pretty not much worth it so I probably could do another top row and, and down here and fill them if I wanted. Um, actually I might do that because then they're still kept but I want to get the applied energetics uh, applied alarm logistics I always just keep stuffing up but yeah I could probably start off with refined storage first because um, applied alarm logistics isn't too bad but it's just too old uh, it's the uh, um, AE2 and I don't like all the channels on it it's just uh, you have to worry about 32 channels and all this other crap and it's like I don't really want to worry about you know having to worry where my 32 channels is going I will do this oh. so I think I might just jump straight into refined storage because I believe that has a better layout and it's like a one with his own stuff so 
that's the way that I'm feeling of going and this will keep running okay so I need eight um, eight eight gears um, so two four six eight so I'll grab these so 32 uh, that's the wrong one this is the gears here so that will sit there and it will do that and I will throw the rest into plates so I just love that it just looks so awesome I know everything will despawn in within five minutes but this should hopefully get through it before it does it and if you look up above there's a few areas that I missed in changing over which I will fix eventually. Uh, see some over there. So uh, yeah. So, but it does look nice. I'll probably go through the list and see what other stone ones are. But I'm hoping that will be good enough. So I've got them. I've got them. Actually, I needed more iron, didn't I? So. We're sitting on 24, and we still got heaps to go. So this will double our ores. So we need to crush them first. And how are we going there? So everything's going along smoothly. Um, I know I know I need to automate a lot more, and I probably would have by now. But I really want to get. Uh, the refined storage or applied logistics running. So we're up to 12 this time. So we're well, considering this has still got 3,000 in here. That's full, and this is full, and then it's taking forever to burn. So this will eventually catch up. So now that's full. Next one will be full actually can't input it because it's missing a bucket so now hopefully this will actually stay so we're sitting at seven it just picked it up so it must have just dropped that tiny little bit in there so hopefully we are at six now and let's see if this eats that up before a new one comes in so we're cooking one up it's taken out and how to so it doesn't actually so I don't know if this is a tick for part of this or if this is a, or for the thing that it's eaten the oil that it's already used or it takes it out let's have a quick look so I don't know it doesn't it didn't even move so yeah so we're on seven nope not seven yet See that's how that's that's how far it or long it takes to get here. It is incredible slow. It is just ridiculous. So it's used a it it uses 50 millibuckets each one of these by the look of it because of that. So it's on seven, and it's just about to do its next one. So it looks like it'll only handle one with the current speed of these ducks until I can actually get to the next level so that that is really really bad so this is why Ender IO was a lot better in this situation so it has done it um, and it hasn't gotten to a bucket yet so it looks like it will slowly I'm trying to yeah so it's it's gonna ca it's gonna keep up it's will keep up but we'll see how much buy. So it may be only like maybe three or four. And if it's that bad, well, it's not too bad. But once I get the um, applied energy, oh, not applied energetics, the impulse ducks happening, it'll be a lot better. Applied energetics would have been easier, but I couldn't do power and um, items in the same line. It will have to be multiple. So this is used 300 millibuckets since it's changed over it's gotten two extras so yeah 
So if that's doing every 300, so you'll get like two or three, maybe four per one, so it will keep up on one, but not more than one. So... And they're all my stuff. And this probably won't make enough. Short by two. Actually a lot, because I forgot to keep this, but we're making more. Uh, I need more copper. Nice, 27. So I am dwindling down on actually resources. Um, usually I wouldn't, but that tertiarius is very expensive. So I'm going to have to, unfortunately, uh, make a heap of it. So it will be a lot of power. At least I have a power system that can keep up with the demands of it now so this will kick on and off when it is required and it's still doing it I was hoping it wouldn't but I will need a second oil generator considering this is I'm pretty sure this is like 720 a tick but between all this working and stuff yeah so we're at, we're at 9 now so yeah because we still need this to be on and off, which I was hoping it wouldn't, but this is running and I can't remember. There's quite a few things and that is running as well. And they're over there used quite a bit, so unfortunately it's going to have to do. Okay, that's all my bronze ignits actually. So I need... Uh, actually, what did I need? No, I got that. I needed more... Um, more plates, so have more plates. Actually, that's the right mount. It's the um, ingots that I needed. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, well, I'll have more bronze plates now anyway. There are my casings. And as I said, I would do more. Um, four of them, six of them. So I will now move this. Yeah, give me. But that's okay, because I'll move this to here. Uh, just do some power straight to it that way. And this will come across in like that. And this will fill it up. So now I can do one, two, three, and four and drop that, then drop that, and then drop that. And that will go through and make me all those hardened casings and keep it full. But I will probably use um probably better ducks or something underneath. I don't know, I really enjoy looking at these. Um, but the problem is, is I don't know how to push and pull on, on these except from the pump. So this is why this is here. Oh no, the other floor ducks, because I don't know how they are pushed and pulled. So we'll just let this go. I will take these two and process or go start the other stuff. So I need the induction and oh, I had it on there already. I need the induction f smelter, which is Invar, and I need some more redstone coils. Uh, I don't know if I need uh, the pulverizer, sawmill, that induction smelter. No, so it's basically just the Invar gears and stuff that I need. Oh, that's gonna be so close. This one that uh, is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. See, and if I look at the induction smelter, now I need a bucket. So we got everything to make them. So, and there's my plates. So I can quickly make one of these bad boys. No, I can't because I needed to do this. Oh, I need clear glass. 
So I've got some of that, and I need some of that. Now I should be able to make two of them. Do the induction smelter. Now I need the fluid transposer. That one. So I need two more Invar gears and some of that, and that's it. And I cannot make any more Invar gears because I am out of. Uh, no, nope. I need to go here and get some more nickel. Not you. So you and you. Uh, actually, I'll grab a stack and then I'll grab a stack of that. So this will help me a little bit. Um, so one of them and one of them. And I need all of that gold, just what I need. This is finally done, so uh, there it is, that one, and now that one, and one more of these, oh, actually three more of them, but now I can quickly do two more gears, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, it's wrapping up point. So now this is the last episode of tonight because it is now 3.30 in the morning and I need a sleep. So we now have the fluid transposer and the um, induction smelter. The fluid transposer is its friend is here. They always need to be together so and then you turn this one into on so they talk well not talk but they send um, love letters via that fluids so this is the glowstone will be here and then this will be the thing to fill up now the induction smelter which will be uh, hmm, I should have really thought about that shouldn't I but it can be here so they're all roughly close you can put this one here so once this has been filled up it will spit to the next one but that's fine I will worry about that later the um, item duct that we require is the basic one so as you can see I um, you can turn these with a hardened glass so I'll probably collect up a, quite a few of these, so I need six and I'll use hardened glass in it. And then put these in here to be filled. You need 200 miller buckets and you get 250 from one. Oh wow, that's changed. So that's not too bad. So I didn't realise it was um, that big of a difference now. So anyway, we are done for tonight. I have made a big big step in a lot of stuff like automating all this quickly just check this one more time but I'm pretty sure that we are actually moving quite nicely ahead we aren't making enough to run off of just solid that yet so we'll need probably like three or four of them because um, I want this to be our last resort to kick in um, but it's currently not quite enough out of that one so if we may build one more we'll probably have a lot more but we'll get the uh, item ducts impulse item ducts up and running which will help this um, all this over here a lot more plus over time replacing all the older stuff to be a lot faster so it's all just gonna slowly come together when I do it anyway it is night time for me and I love how we're getting extra gold out of this so that is handy so thank you for watching um, and this is ep oh, episode 67 I think it is now so we have officially moved forward a great step after about 12 episodes I think but it was a massive learning curve and we well I learnt a lot and hopefully you learnt a lot too so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode when I get it done. Laters and have fun.